Right you lot, what is up? Welcome back to another ice hockey video. Today I'm coming to you as a rugby player, as you can see by the title. And we're reacting to a player that's been recommended to me many, many times. It's the one name that I can actually remember. And look, I'm, I'm not being funny here guys, but I've just thought, I've just watched a whole heap of highlights on Connor McDavid and I didn't see one black player. What the hell? You guys know I'm not racist. I've certainly put my foot in it many times in the past on this channel and I've been called out for it. But today, I'm going to say that and I'm going to say that genuinely. I did not see one black player on the fucking ice. So, <laughs> I guess, you know, subconsciously that's going to be something I'm looking for. Um, it was kind of like the opposite when I first went into football, you know, and I made those calls. Obviously there's a shitload of white players in the league and obviously there's probably going to be a shitload of black players in the, in the NHL. but. I didn't see any. So anyways guys, today's video is about Connor McDavid. The first thing we're going to do is look up Connor McDavid because I didn't do that in the previous videos and you guys are probably annoyed. Now, holy shit, oh my god. He's 22. He's only just started. Selected first overall by the Oilers in the 2015 NHL entry draft. He's won the Art Ross Trophy twice as the leading scorer in the league. The Hart Memorial Trophy, given to the player judged most valuable to his team in 2017 and led the Ted Lindsay Award twice as the best player voted by other NHL players. Oh my lord! That is why you guys wanted me to look at him. That's insane. Six foot one, he's my height. Oh, plays for the Oilers. Look at him! Look at him! I did not think he was 22. This is insane. He came into the league in 2015. He must have been like 18. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. Well, I don't know anything about the draft. I don't know anything about college uh, ice hockey, actually. I've got, yeah, no idea. But he's from Canada. McDavid grew up in the Toronto area and played hockey there and was granted exceptional player status by Hockey Canada, which allowed him to play Major Junior one year early. Major Junior is... Junior hockey is a level of competitive ice hockey, generally for players between 16 and 21. Junior hockey leagues in the United States and Canada are considered amateur and operate within regions of each country. He thus joined the Airy Otters of Ontario Hockey League and spent three years with the Otters before the Oilers selected him in the 2015 NHL entry draft. And I bet they're glad they did. Internationally, he played for the Canadian national junior team at one World Under-18 Championships, two World Junior Championships, and for the senior team at one World Championship, winning one gold at entry level. Career statistics, okay, from the NHL, we won't worry about the, oh man, maybe we should. Anyway, total of 287 games, oh no, this is NHL, sorry, NHL totals, 287 games, 128 goals, is that attempts, oh no, assists, and an assist can be attributed to up to two players, anyone who touched it in any other way which enabled the goal. Yeah, okay. So, he's not only a goal machine, but he's an assist machine. And we saw that actually, because there's, there's been a couple of times where he could have smacked it in himself, but he's faked the goalie, all in the matter of a split second, passed it to his teammate, and, and his teammate slapped it in. So, okay, NHL record, 287 games, which I assume is... They play 82 games in a year? That's like, that's like the NBA, isn't it? That's insane. 287 games, 128 goals. 244 assists, 372 points, and a penalty is when you go in the penalty box. So he's had 90 penalties, and I assume 372 is 244 plus 128. So they score an assist as being just as important as a goal, and he's got a total of 372 points. What does it mean if it's in black? What does it mean if it's in bold? What does it mean? Bold. Indicates lead league. Okay. 2016 to 17 and 17 to 18, he led the league in points, which is a total of goals and assists. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Huh. Okay. Well, stats, six foot one, probably about 200 pounds. Center means he's all over the court. What a legend. I did not expect him to be that young whatsoever. 
no chance. But what we're going to do, what we're going to do, we're going to look at his career highlights up to December 23rd, 2017. Which is not that long, really. <laughs> See, I was looking at these videos thinking, holy shit, he must have been in the league since like 2010. But no, not at all. Alright, here he is, the man, 18, eh, look at him, oh mate, he's just like, yeah, <laughs> he's just been killing it for three years in the, in the junior league, and I mean this, is it much of a step up for him? Of course it is, it's gotta be. He just bamboozles defenders, doesn't he? Oh, not only bamboozles defenders, he's got the speed too. Oh, see, there you go. Don't worry about a goal, that's an assist. That's a point. I wanted to say something, right? I want. <laughs> this is a good song, actually. I quite like this. Um, I wanted to say something. Here. Bang! <laughs> That's a bang off the right. It's about as close to a bang off the right as you can get. Straight up, just one step and passed. Great song choice. It's making me excited because tomorrow I head to New Zealand and uh, on the 4th of January there's a music festival and I'm going to be buzzing man. So this, this beat, this drop is just getting me into it man. I fuck I can't wait. <laughs> Haven't been to a music festival in like over two years. Oh, stops on a dime. Turned on a dime. they not stop that? They must think he's got glue on his stick or something. Oh! That's a sick uniform by the way. It's like the Bills. Bills versus the Steelers. Oh, that's what we want to see. I haven't seen any of that yet. Yeah. <laughs> that's the other. That's the other fun part of it, isn't it? Did he just put it through his own legs there? No. Just just on the inside. Another assist. Yeah, don't yeah, just give it to McDavid, seriously, just let him go. He's like a steam train up that rink. Just incredible speed. And look. Not only that, but he gets to the goal. He literally gets inside that goal circle and then starts trying to deke out this, 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 these goalies. It's, it's like, 
You've got no space to work in whatsoever, but once he's so so good at it, he knows that if he does fake that goalie and he gets him to bite, and he's got the skill and he's got the the uh, the agility to stop on a dime, bring it back around and uh, flick it back in behind the goalie, all in the space of a split second and within a few feet, and that's incredible. The Oilers, Edmonton Oilers. No! That's next level, man. Oh, McDavid, he's got the pace. This is a fantastic song choice, man. I'm loving it. Straight up, that's fucking shivers, shivers down the spine. That's one on one, if you ever did see it. Oh. Fucking bounce, bounce shot, look at that. Wonder if there's many concussions in this game. That's too good. That is too fucking good. And what a view. Watch this, man. What a view. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the final, the final big deke to, uh, to really fake that goalie. And then it's around the outside, baby. Far out, man. Well, I really, really enjoyed that, and I still cannot believe he's only been in the league for four years. That's incredible. What do we have to come? Only God knows. <sighs> okay, so that was Connor McDavid. That was, well, my third look at Connor McDavid. We've kind of, we've kind of gone in, in that sort of fashion lately. I sort of pick a player, doesn't matter what sport, and I sort of just, just watch as much as I need to, you know, to really get the gist of, of what's going on. So that's what we've done with McDavid. Any hockey fans out there, I'm sure you're probably watching this thinking, oh, there's other players that are just as good and you'll probably want me to react to them. And, and by all means, hit me up in the comment section below. But this is the name that's come up the most and I can see why. So with all that being said, guys, I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas and New Year. I don't know when you're going to see this video, but the date here, guys, just to let you know, is December the 28th. 2019. So let's all have a fantastic 2020 and I'll see you back here shortly to watch some more Connor McDavid. I've been up and working to the morning, yeah. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan on my way. Broom, broom, tell him I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing, I'm the same.